So what we'll do today is we'll set up our Facebook business manager. This is, this is where you want to be running your Facebook and your Instagram ads um, through. And so it all comes down to that link at the top, business.facebook.com. Um, that's where you get to this page. Just make sure you're logged into Facebook, which, which you are. And then what we're going to do too is in the top right, you see those, those three dots. We're yeah. going to set up a folder. So okay. go ahead and click on those three dots real quick. And let's okay. go to bookmarks. Okay. And let's, um, let's set up. Actually, we have it right there. Perfect. So FB Business Manager, we have all the other ones in there. That's what we're going to okay. we're going to reset up. Okay. So if anything, if anything, hover over all of them to the right and just right click and delete or remove. It's either yeah, right click. Yeah, delete. So let's delete. Okay. Let's delete all of them. Delete all of them because we're going to um, they're all linked to your old account. So we're going right. to redo all of them right now. Okay. So now just click on the blue button. We're going to create account. Okay. And we're going to simply just give it a name. So whatever business name we put here at the top, we're going to use that same name for everything, for the name of the business manager, for the name of the pixel, for the name of the ad account. So go ahead and put um, any name there, really, either your real estate name, company name, or yeah, perfect. Realtor. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. And then submit. And then your name at the bottom. And then the, actually before you submit the email, this is what's super important as well. This is what can can um, disable a lot of ad accounts is when this email is not verified. So whatever email you put okay. there, make sure you um, you verify it. And, okay. and it's best to kind of verify it here because you're already logged into Facebook. So if you actually go to the Gmail here, you're, it'll, it'll accept it right away. Okay. Yeah. So submit. So just um. So that's the email we have on file. Mm -hmm. So perfect. Okay. Cool. So you'll still yeah confirm your email. So done, and then just check your email real quick. Okay. Good. So once you confirm the email, then you can click on the three lines right there at the top left, and let's go to business settings. Okay. And that's where um everything everything starts. So okay. over here, just from from the left hand side from top to bottom. Um, you got people that shows you that's the new personal profile. And then um, to the left, let's click on pages. So over here, this is where this is where you would you would request access to a page. So if you have an existing page, you would just connect to here. Um, but if you're setting up a whole new page from scratch, then just click the blue button. And then let's um, let's create a new page. Create a new page here. Okay. Create a new page. Yes. And so what you can do is you could just go with local business, local business or place. That's perfect. Okay. So the only thing that we're going to have to change on this new one is, is the username, you know, whatever okay. your username was for the previous one. Yeah. We'll just go with the whole new one. Okay. And then category is. And you know what? The page name, I would just go your name, your first name, last name. Okay. So that could okay. be the username. You could definitely put that right. username, but the page name is just your, your name. So okay. Category, um, you should be able to find something under real estate. Or housing or something. Yeah, I think it's either, it's as low as it goes. I'm trying to scroll down. It's not letting me scroll. So oh, there it is. There we go. There we go. Oops. No, not that. Sorry, I think it's my internet. It's acting weird. No, you're fine. Okay, keep going. Should be good. It should take us straight to the to the new page. Um, yeah, okay, cool. And then just go ahead and click on view page to the to the right. Okay. So view page, and then um, go ahead and put a profile picture here for now. Let's just let's just do some basic some basic updates to the page really really quick, and okay. then you can, you can fix it all up later. But um, here you can just X this out. Okay. And just add a profile picture. Put yeah, put leave. Yeah. Oh my uh -huh. gosh. Let's leave, please. Yes, I want to leave. <laughs> okay. Here. So yeah, profile picture, always important um, to do right away. The the blue button, adding a button, um, super important right away. And then even even getting the username. Um, sometimes you need, depending on the type of business, um, sometimes you need a few likes on the page before you can you can edit the username. Okay. But let's see if you can if you can edit it now. Um, yeah. hmm. Okay. Hold on. Where was it? 
Why don't you just hit the yeah, hit the little camera. Yeah, hit yeah. the little camera. And then yeah, there you go. Edit profile. Perfect. Okay. 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 And then let's add a button real quick. And you could just put send message for now on the on the add a button. What we'll want to do in the future is once we have our landing pages set up, is is link that to a page. Um, link it to your to your landing page. Okay. So um so for now one, just go send message. Send message. Okay, great. Yeah, we'll just put that one there for now. Um and Same you, one. Can even, you can even edit the, the, the messages, but yeah, save. We can we can do this part later. Let's okay. And then let's see if we can create a username right now. Um okay. let's just see if it allows us. So what what name what name do we use the first time around for all just my name, I think. Did you? Okay. Yeah. So but your other accounts are all active, right? What what are what so what so your Instagram, your Twitter, your LinkedIn? Well, yeah. So all the other stuff is I don't use it though. So I mean we could always create new ones or okay. So just go ahead and go with whatever, whatever the one username that you want for, for all platforms. Maybe we can just change all the other ones to this new one. Um, just so we have the consistency with 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 the branding, you know. Um, what is that? But everything is okay? one. Everything is together. All one word. All lowercase. All one word. Oh, all one. Sure. Okay. Uh, this is going to be Facebook.com forward slash realtor. Right. Yes. Yeah, so. Realtor. Then, um, okay. Click. So it doesn't away. Click into the white. Yeah. Click right there. Click. Click. Okay. Cool. Awesome. Perfect. So they allowed you to change it right away. Okay. okay. Good. Perfect. Okay, so we got that done. We're good. So um, we added a button. We added the profile picture. We changed the username. So we're good. So now let's get out of here. You can come back in and, and edit the page later. But let's close out this tab at the top, top right. Yeah, X out of this one. And let's go back to the business settings. Okay. So, so now we have, this, we have this page set up. So we're good here. So now to the very, so right below to on the left, click on add accounts. This is where where you'll connect your um, your actual card. So you can either connect your, your, your credit card or you can connect a PayPal account. But right here, we'll create a new ad account. So click on add mm -hmm. and then just go um, at, create a new account. Yeah, create a new one. Okay. And then the same name as we have at the top left. So we're gonna name the same thing for, for all. Yeah. Okay. Okay, cool. No, it's good. Okay. Yeah, that's good. And the time zone, it's really, it's really just, and then go my business and then create. Time zone is not the, not the most important at all. That's just kind of based on what time your ad goes live and what time it ends, but mm -hmm. it doesn't even matter. So now that we, now that we're in here, click on your name in the top left, and then you're going to go um, full control. So click, click the circle to your, to the, to the, the right. Yeah, there's a okay. circle. So what we're doing here is we're 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 connecting we're we're tying your name to the actual ad account. Everything, everything is its own asset. the The page is an asset. The ad account is an asset. The pixel is an asset. Everything within this business manager is an asset. Every asset needs to tie needs to tie back to the personal profile, which is Rosa. So okay. you're so we're gonna just be connecting the dots and connecting you to everything. So right here at the very very bottom, full control, manage ad account, shade that gray to blue. And then assign. Okay, cool. So now, um, as we assign it, we're going to add payment info, okay. and this is where you just um, put a put any card you want. Okay. Here, what what a lot of people do, which is which is a smart thing to do, um, is to put is to either put a credit card or 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 pay, or PayPal. Um, not really your debit card. Now, if that's the only thing you have right now, then fine, we'll, we'll add it. But eventually you'll want to put it to just a straight credit card in my professional opinion, because it's easier to deal with fraud on a credit card versus debit. Now, some yeah. banks, I have Chase, for example, like some banks are super, super cool when it comes to right. fraud, but, but it's easier to, um, um, generally speaking, it's easier to deal with fraud on a credit card. Um, I see. Right versus versus mm -hmm. your actual bank account. Okay. You know what I mean? That sounds so, good. Okay, cool. So we're done there. So not only not only is that is that kind of something something good to 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 um 
to kind of, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Good advice to kind of follow. But, but also on top of that, not only just the credit card, but, but even sometimes put in a credit card that doesn't have a high limit. Right. Right. So if somebody does mess with that card, they can't charge 10 grand on the damn thing because it, right, right. Right. it only goes up to 2000, mm-hmm. for example. So right. Right. That's just something to keep in mind. Low, low balance okay. and, and then an actual credit card or low mm-hmm. limit, I should say. Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. So here, the ad account is tied to Rosa. So you see people right there to the bottom, right? Um, Rosa, and then click on, click on add assets. Um, I think we have to set the pixel first to add assets, but click on add assets just for right now to the top, right? Add assets. Right. If there's uh, anything okay. to add. Um, okay. So not nothing to add. So that's fine. So X out and we're good there. So now this becomes, um, this becomes our first, our first, actually, you know, click on, go ahead and click on, click on pages, click on pages real quick. And let's, let's, let's have that be our first bookmark. So right here, um, go ahead and hit the star in the top, right? This is our first bookmark of seven, and this is business settings. So go ahead and hit the star right there, little low. Yeah. Hit the star. Okay. You're going to put it in that folder, that other folder, not the Lorenzo one, go to the right. F- <laughs> FB. Yeah. FB business business business. Okay. And this okay. is, um, re- you actually name it. Yeah. Business settings. That's fine. And then done. Perfect. Okay, cool. So that's business settings. And then add accounts to the left, right below add accounts. Mm-hmm. And then um, let's bookmark this one. This is add account. And so okay. in the future, that. yeah, hit the star. In mm-hmm. the future, like, because I'm going to be available for you, add accounts. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'm going to be available for you whenever you need any any help with, with any of this stuff. But every now and then, like, I get stumped every now and then. Like, something randomly will happen with Facebook, and I'm like, damn, I don't know what the hell's going on. Like, with your yeah. profile, for example, I'm like, shit, you're going to have to probably reach out to them, right? So, in this case, with the business manager or with ads in general, um, if something comes up and I, don't, and I don't have the answer, then you'll have to reach out to Facebook. And really, the first thing they want to know is what's the ad account ID number. And that's it in the top right, the 103554. That's the ad account ID number. Okay. okay. So, so always just make note of that. That's why this is an important bookmark here to, to always have, have, have that number on hand. Okay. So that's the ad account. So now as we go down to the bottom left, let's go ahead and, and see if we can connect an Instagram account, which I don't, I don't think you're going to be able to connect that. Actually, no, let's, let's find out because it might say that it's already connected to a different account. Click on add Instagram. See if you can add your, your Instagram. Um, I think I do. Well, let's see. What was the name of this? It might give us an error. So just scroll down. Okay. Yeah, bring that that gray bar down. There you go. Okay. Okay, okay so let's see if, if it allows. Yeah, that's me. Okay, so go ahead and continue. See if it'll mm-hmm. it actually allow us. Perfect. So go ahead and check that circle to the right. No, no. Yeah. Check the circle. You got to always tie your name back. So hit finish. Mm -hmm. So all we're doing here is we're tying the Instagram account. Okay. We're tying the Instagram account, to the actual ad account. That's what we just did right there. So when we run Instagram ads, that is tied to this ad account, which is where the credit card's at. So switch to Instagram business for settings out late. Okay. So go ahead and hit switch. Mm -hmm. So with your Instagram right now, you have a personal profile and all this is doing is switching it to a business profile and it doesn't look any different. It's the same account. All it does, go ahead and log in. All it does is it gives you the ability to now to now run ads to it or run mm-hmm. ads through Instagram, run ads to Instagram, however you want to word that. Mm-hmm. But then it also gives you all the analytics and you can you can look at all the metrics and, and all that because it's now a quote unquote business um, profile which I think Instagram calls it a professional um, profile, but it's a business, it's a business one. Take away the, the at sign. So that at sign at the top, your username, just take away that at sign. Okay. And then try logging in. Okay. So now that we're switching the Instagram to a, to a professional uh, um, setting, then yeah, just fill out this basic information and, and then click on done. Um, and then you can, I think you can search at the top real estate, and there's a few different, di- three different real estate ones that should pull. Yeah, real estate, real estate agent. So real estate service. I like that one better. Yeah, okay. Perfect. And then done. And then we should be good. So okay. now, now it should take us back to the business settings. 
and we're good. So let's see here. Okay. What I always recommend is having the same profile picture for, for every platform. Yeah, so I probably should change it. And just click done. Okay. You can, you can for sure change it eventually. So, um, so now we're good. Okay, so now go ahead and add people. So again, it's, it's, it's own people? asset. No, to the right. This is its own okay. asset. So now we have the Tyrosa okay. to, to it. So add people and then. Okay. Done. What'd you click on? Because your internet's a little slow. Did you click on add people? Yeah. Oh, okay. here we go. Okay. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so check your check the circle to the left. There's Rosa. Uh -huh. And then you're going to simply over here, just shade all of the, I, yeah, shade all of them. All of them to, um, there we go. And then scroll down, insights, all of them. Yeah, and then, and then assign. Okay. Is there more down there? There it is. Actually okay. go a little, yeah, that should be fine. Okay, perfect. So now, now we're good there. And then, um, Click on add assets. Let's see if we can tie this to um, the ad account, which yeah, there's your ad account. Okay, so check that circle and then add. So okay. now we're just telling telling Facebook any ad that's ran through Instagram or, or to Instagram is tied to this ad account. So charge them over here. Charge, okay. charge the ad over here. Okay, cool. So now to the left, let's keep going down to the bottom left. So okay. Instagram account is, is fine. So scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. Um, so now we have go ahead and click on data sources in okay. the data sources you have you have your pixel so um we can somewhat set it up right now we can't fully activate it until we have our landing pages uh, okay. or, or some other website but yeah click on pixels and then we'll just kind of have it pending um for now but we can at least somewhat okay. set it up so click on add and then we're going to name the pixel exactly what we're naming everything else so take away the word pixel, take away the apostrophe S, just leave it the same exact name. Okay. And then um, and that's it. So scroll down and then just click on um, the blue button. There should be a blue button right below. There we go, continue. Okay, cool. So now as we go through here, go ahead and click on set up the pixel now. I'll just have you, um, I'm gonna have you, I'm gonna have you, I'm gonna have you email it to yourself. Go ahead and manually add pixel code to website. And then okay. this right here. So go ahead and click that blue. Click, yeah, click. Click this right here. Yep, click it. So now you just copied the pixel. Mm -hmm. So scroll down right below it. Keep going down. Okay. So that's your pixel code right there, that long piece of code. Mm -hmm. That's what we've put on a website. So um, right here, number two, turn off and turn it back on. The blue. Yeah, turn that off. Make sure everything is turned on. So do it again. Okay, scroll. Do it. All, yeah, do it again. Perfect. So now scroll down. Everything should be okay. blue. Okay. And then continue. Okay. Right. Okay. So now um, you're good. So cancel. Okay. And go ahead and go ahead and email it to yourself because you have it copied. So go ahead and go ahead and just email it to yourself. All right. So I emailed it to myself. So now over here to the right, add people. So we're going to add you to the pixel. Um, okay. So right there, add people. You should see your 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 name here, the circle. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So hit that one and full control. You're always doing full control. Mm -hmm. uh, it was the Instagram one where you had to do all of them, but but all these other ones, it's just full control. Just do that one. That's the only one. Okay. Full okay. control and then assign. Okay. Good. So now now we have the pixel somewhat somewhat set up. Um, okay. That red dot will go green once we add it to a page. Okay. okay. Once we add it to a web page, then it'll be, it'll be active. So okay. um, click on add assets because I'm pretty sure you have to tie the yeah you have to tie the pixel to the ad account as well. So add assets, you'll see your ad account right there. So check the circle, add, okay, and then we're good. And we're not going to bookmark it from here. I'm going to have you bookmark it from another another page. Um, but but there's the setup. Okay, so now to the left, okay. we're going to keep going down. Okay. The left, we're going to go down to um, the next the next one is is brand safety but i don't do we have our what what dot com were you were did we use a dot com um, were we, yes um we got you know we paid for the domain it was the rosa roche.com are you is it forwarding to any other website or, or it's a, it was, yes it's forwarding to my remax website okay so then we need a different one then so it's okay. one domain per per website so Okay. We could do this now or we can do this later, but um, 
it could be done it could be done later but what we're going to eventually want is 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 one dot com for 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 your ads so this dot com would be sending people to either your listing or a listing funnel or a open house funnel or a seller guide funnel mm -hmm. one domain so if you click on brand safety and then you click on domain, okay. we'll want to get a a, a standalone domain for for our ads okay uh, so if you click on domains, this is where we would add a domain. So you have no other domains that are just sitting and parked and not being used. Right. You don't, you don't have any, you just have one domain that's going to your Remax site, right? That's right. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, so eventually, and what I recommend too is, is um, what do you have? Do you have it through GoDaddy? I think so. Okay. So just, just um, like a, like a, um, just a little, just throwing it out there, whatever your .com is, what a lot of my clients do is they'll just go out there and get the same one, but .info. Okay. So you have, what do you have, your first and last name? Yeah. Okay, so if you went first and last name .info, and now that domain is just pointing to all your landing pages, like a listing funnel, an open house funnel, that could be good too. You're using the same name, but it's just a different extension, not a .com, okay. it's a .info. Mm -hmm. You could okay. probably get that through go watch just out of curiosity that new tab that's open at the top go to GoDaddy through there real quick go to GoDaddy and let's just see how much it costs it's gonna be super inexpensive um yeah from right there go to GoDaddy <laughs> so right here whatever your dot com is just type it in but type in dot info and this is just something that I'm throwing out there you can do whatever you can go get a whole another dot com if you wanted to it's totally um, I, don't, I don't think I want to. <laughs> consistent with what you already have yeah i this think that's what i'd rather do yeah see so look you know dollar 99 for the first two years but with with one year it's probably like 10 bucks um i think they give you a discount if you go two years or whatever but but you can watch yeah hit one year see what it is for one year probably like 11 dollars or 11.99 oh shit 4.99 82 percent off look at that that's a deal yeah that's, that's a deal years. That's a deal. <laughs> yeah, check it. Whatever you want to do, but but this yeah, this like domain that mean that you're driving all. Yeah, let's do one year. Yeah, do yeah, one, one year. That's year. fine. Um, That's a better deal. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's knock this out real quick. Grab okay. grab this domain real quick. Yeah. Awesome. We just got the domain. Perfect. Yeah. So so now again, okay. this is a domain that we're we're just driving all traffic to, right? Okay. We're gonna, and, and here's here, here's what it's going to be. It's dot info forward slash seller guide dot info okay. forward slash seven 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 plaza boulevard right dot info forward slash open house right? so so mm -hmm. now every funnel every page will be created around that domain awesome and and again it's not just for ads as you continue to post on social media now mm -hmm. we have a call to action now you can direct people to your new link Right. That's 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 why what what I'm really teaching is not just for ads. It's for all your posting. Like start using these links to start capturing leads. Mm -hmm. you know, so hey, okay. continue. We'll go continue. And then um, once this goes fully through, we'll now be able to have access. OK, cool. So now now go ahead and just put um, go to put I'll do this later and then we'll okay. go into the settings of it. So now click on. Click on your go ahead and go ahead and scroll scroll down. It should be should be to the right. Yeah, right there to the right. So bottom right, click on uh, manage domain. To the right, manage domain. Okay. Right, click on that one. And what we need to do is go into the actual DNS uh, settings. Yeah. So go ahead and click on that. Right. Now we're going to scroll all the way down. So scroll all the way down, and we're going to manage DNS right there. Manage DNS. Um, you passed it. Manage DNS. A little higher. Oh, here. Right there. Okay. Down here. Okay. This cool. is going to take us into the actual what what GoDaddy calls your DNS records. And so over here, we just need to need to add a piece of code that Facebook is going to give us. So go back to business settings. Um, and then now on the left hand side, yeah, the tab that's open, business settings. Yeah, oh no, I'm sorry. I was looking for something else. Oops, sorry, buddy. Okay. Okay. Yeah, just, just go to business settings. So click the tab at the top, business settings. Done. So now over here, we're going to simply 
yeah, business settings. And then bottom left, scroll down. We're going to go back down to the um, to um, brand safety. So right okay. there, brand safety, and then click on um, domain. Okay. And then now let's integrate this domain. So go ahead and click on add. And then type in your, your new domain there. Perfect. And then add. And then now over here, we're going to get a, a set of instructions. And what we want to do is we want to hit that drop down, add a meta tag, hit that, and we're going to choose the third one down. We're looking for the DNS text. Yes. Yeah, so okay. And then now number two, um, instruction number two, go ahead and click on that domain, Facebook dash domain, the bold. Yeah. Go ahead and click copied. Perfect. So you copied it by clicking it. Now we're going to go back to GoDaddy and we're going to follow the instructions um, number three and number four. So over here, scroll back up to the top and we're going to add. So we're going to click on the black add button. Okay. And then over here, we're going to simply the type. We're going to go down to TXT. So hit the drop down. We're looking for TXT. The mm -hmm. name is the at sign. And then the, the at sign? Yeah, the at. Go ahead and click okay. on it. And then the value, paste in that link. Paste. Yep. Just control V or paste. Yeah. Perfect. Mm -hmm. And then add record. Okay. okay. So that's now. So now GoDaddy. Now, now the, the domain can communicate with Facebook. Um, okay. And, and this whole thing is kind of a newer update of Facebook where, where before you used to be able to run ads to any, any website. It doesn't have to be mm -hmm. yours. It doesn't have to be your domain, but now it does. Now, okay. now, now the actual domain, the website, it could be any, any from any company, but the domain, the actual domain needs to mm -hmm. be. Okay. Uh, so now we're going to go back to Facebook. Okay. And we're going to simply verify um, this domain. So go back to the business settings. Mm -hmm. And then over here, we're going to scroll down to the bottom right. We're on the right hand side, scroll down. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to click on verify. Sometimes this takes a few times, but sometimes it happens right away. So you should be able to scroll down further. Um, weird. Awesome. So okay. verify domain and scroll, scroll down, do it again. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Because we just purchased it, then, then it's going to, there's a little time lapse. So we'll come back to this, but at least it's, at least it's, it's now in process. So we're, we're good here. We'll come back to the domain. But normally when you already own that domain for a while, and then you come over here and you do this, it verifies right away. But if you just purchased it, which we just did, then let it sit for a while. We'll come back in a few minutes. So now let's keep going to the left. Last one is business info to the left. So business okay. info, what we want to do is we want to now con complete all this. So top okay. right, click on the edit okay. and then um, go ahead and type in your business page, the primary page, type in your, your name and you should see your business page, um, the drop down pull up. I'm sorry, what was that? Type in your name. Oh, right here where it says primary page. Yep. Type in your name. Oh, there. there. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Right there. here. Yes. Okay. Save. Save. Okay. And then now let's fill out all this information right here. For the business website. Okay. And, and tax ID is not necessary. Just, okay. um, yeah, you don't need the tax ID and then hit save. But this okay. part's super, super important because a lot of people fail to do this as well. And that's, this is another reason why the account can get disabled um, or yeah. even shut down. I see. So uh, now to uh, scroll down, scroll down. So we already mm -hmm. verified the email. So the email is good. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're good there. So now let's move on. Now go ahead and refresh this page. So as we just filled out all the business info, the email was confirmed right away when, when we set up the business account initially. So now we're good. So if you refresh, you got your business page there now, your profile picture, and we're good. So okay. now click on the three lines. Um, in the top left and let's mm -hmm. go to um, let's go to ads man no three lines to the top left oh top left I'm sorry yeah, so click on um, click on let's let's go to audiences go to okay. go to audiences and we're going to simply bookmark this <clears throat> this over here so we'll come back in and um, actually go ahead and create a custom audience so let's just create one real quick and then we'll bookmark it okay and then just create a Facebook page one create the Facebook page We'll just do this one for now. Um, but in the future, in the future, with your type of business, you're gonna you're gonna be creating uh, custom audiences around website and video. If you do video, um, but if you're not doing any video, then really it's it's custom audiences around website. Um, okay. We don't have a website just yet. We have your Remax one, but we're not gonna track. We don't need that one. We need landing pages. 
So okay. when we, that, then we can start creating website custom audiences. But yeah, for right now, we'll just do Facebook page. Okay. Just so we can at least the next. market. Yeah, next. Okay. And then over here, the events, hit that drop down. Everyone who engaged, yeah, hit that one. Let's go down with the fourth one. People who engaged with any post or ad. Okay. And then um, <laughs> the retention, 365. Go ahead and change that to, change that to 45. Um, okay. Facebook will, will, will continue to track anyone who's been on been or anyone who engaged with any post or ad within the past 45 days. That's, okay. that's long enough. And then audience name, just name it, name it exactly that people who engaged with any post or ad, and this will be a, a custom audience and custom audiences are used to retarget, like to, to run an ad to that specific audience or to exclude that audience from seeing an ad. Now here, this could be an audience that we run ads to, but but really it, it's going to be more of the website audiences. But again, here, let's just do it just for the hell of it, just so we can bookmark it. So people who engaged with any post or ad. Oh my gosh, what am I doing here? With any post or ad. Okay, perfect. Yeah, and then create Good. audience. Okay. okay. Cool. So now we're going to bookmark this page and this bookmark is custom audiences. So hit the star in the top right and we're going to go custom audiences. Okay. And so change that to custom, yeah, audiences. custom audiences. Yeah. So hit done. And then now let's click the three lines. Let's keep, keep moving. We'll go, we got a few more three lines over here, three lines, and let's go to ads manager yeah, and we'll manage. bookmark that one as well. So over okay. here, this is our new ads manager. So if you click on, click on um, no, right in the top left, click no. Um, no. Okay. Sorry. And then here you'll see at the top, there's your new business manager, Rosa, right? The first name, last name, realtor. Hit that drop down, and okay. then uh, go ahead and click on see more ad accounts. So initially, Facebook gives everyone an ad manager. So if you have a personal profile, you set up a business page, by default, you have an ad account. By default, you have an okay. ad. That's the bottom one. But we're never going to okay. run ads out of that bottom one. Right. The okay. whole reason to set up the top one, which is the business manager, the mm -hmm. whole reason for one to even do all of this is for the tracking. So you now have, right. a, you now have the ability to create custom audiences. You now have the ability to create custom conversions, which are necessary to capture leads. You now have all these new settings under this new account, whereas you wouldn't have had it under the bottom one. Yeah. Right. The bottom okay. one is just, is just a, is just an, a, an account to run an ad, but there's no tracking, which, which defeats the whole mm -hmm. purpose. So we don't right. ever run ads out of the bottom one. We're going to stay yep. in the top one. So hit the star in the top right and bookmark this one. This is ads manager. Perfect. And then done. Okay, cool. So now three lines mm -hmm. to the left mm -hmm. and let's go to um, the next one. So the next one is going to be going to go to billing. <laughs> so now click on payment settings. So this is another okay. work, right? So you always want to know what card is on file. You mm -hmm. always want to know what 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 your running balance is throughout the month, right? You always want to know what what your card is about to be charged. So, bookmark this page. This is billing. Okay. And here billing. you can always change the card. Um, and in the very beginning of a new ad account, when you start running ads, you have a you have a very low threshold. So what that means is every every I think the I think the first threshold starts at like two dollars. So okay. every two dollars, Facebook is going to charge that card. And they only do it for okay. a few times and then they, and then they increase the threshold. So with all within a same 30 day period, if we're running ads, you're charged several times every $2 and I then see. the threshold will increase to like $25 and then you're charged oh, I see. $5. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. After you're charged a few times, then Facebook goes to billing you once a month. Okay. Okay. So, so, but again, this is an important bookmark because you you always want to know what that balance is throughout the month. You know, mm -hmm. yeah. Worst thing to do is to wake up and credit and Facebook hit your card for five hundred bucks. Like that's the worst. Yeah, thing. Right, right. So always know where that balance is at. So now mm -hmm. three lines to the left, and let's go. We have I think we have like a couple more bookmarks. So three lines to the left, and let's go to um, let's go to yeah three lines, and let's go to um events manager. Okay. Yeah, events manager. And then over here, this is where we're going to bookmark um, your pixel and your custom conversion, but we're going to rebookmark them once we actually activate it. 
So okay. for right now, just go ahead and hit the star, bookmark this one, um, okay. and then name this one Pixel, which we'll eventually rebookmark once we activate it. But for now, okay. Pixel, and then the, the triangle to the left, the blue triangle, hover mm -hmm. over that blue triangle, custom conversions. And this is another bookmark. Custom conversions. Okay, custom got it. Conversion. Um, go ahead and hit, no, hit the star, hit the star. We, this this happens we're not doing that yet. Okay. once we once we once we activate your landing pages so once right. you your landing page then we can come over here and set up a custom conversion um so hit done and i always like to explain what a custom conversion is um let me share my screen really really quick to show you how important this is okay so here's a custom conversion like when we come to the news feed, and it, it could be on any any platform, not just Facebook. It could be Instagram, LinkedIn ad, a TikTok ad, whatever. A custom conversion is this. As you're scrolling through the news feed and just kind of seeing what everyone's up to, and then you come across a sponsored ad, right? Anytime you see a post says the word sponsor, that's a Facebook ad. These to the right are all Facebook ads. So, and I, and I know I had to have asked you this question before, but I'll, I'll just ask it again for the hell of it. When, when, when it comes to placing this ad, this ad's coming from Gym Lunch, right? There's the text, there's the link, there's the video, there's the actual ad, 56 seconds. What do you think the most important objective is with this ad? Um, to, get, to get leads, right? Or to track, to track, right? You get one answer. You get one answer. Okay. What's well, the you answer? want to get leads, right? The whole point is getting leads, right? To get the lead, right? Yeah. To capture the lead. Now, now again, some it, it could be it could be to capture a lead. It could be to get them to watch the video. It could get them to click the link, right? You said to capture a lead. That's very specific. A lot of times right. people say, "Well, David, it's to get them to click." That's right. A different answer, right? That's a different answer. Right. Getting mm -hmm. somebody to click is one answer. Capturing a lead is a different answer, right? Right. So if you're in the business of capturing leads, that's your final answer, right? Capture lead? Is that your sure. final answer? <laughs> sure. Final that's, answer sure. that's your final answer. Capture lead. Okay. So then here's how it's done. It's by a custom conversion. So now we're going to tell Facebook about our custom conversion. We're going to tell Facebook mm -hmm. that the most important objective here is to capture a lead. So how does that happen? As a person sits here and they read and they watch the video, if, if they even watch the video and they click on the link, now we're coming off of Facebook to a landing page, right? So, so a lot of times, again, people will say, well, David, it's to get them to click. Okay, well, if that's your final answer and that's your number one objective, I just clicked, was that your objective? Is, is that all we wanted for them to get them to click? Because if 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 that was our if that was our objective, well then there's the click. All right. When you look at your your analytics in 15 days, and you see 10,000 people clicked, but no one opted in. Right. Facebook gave you what you wanted. You wanted them to click. Right. So, right. So very specific. Point. Right. Right. So our objective okay. is to capture lead. Now, how does that happen? Right. The person has to click. They have to enter their email based on this landing page. Mm -hmm. They have to click get started, they have to land on a second page. This is the custom conversion. So this link right here of your, what we call thank you page, what we call con confirmation page, what we call our second page, right? Because this funnel, very simple. There's only two pages. The first page that I landed on when I clicked, right? There's the first page. And then I opted in and came to the second page. It's two pages, super, okay. super, two pages. This link up here, that's why pages, landing pages, that's why this stuff's so important because it's the link that we need to tell Facebook about. This link right. is our custom conversion. So as we go and run Facebook conversion ads, we're telling Facebook about this link. We're letting them know, hey, this is the most important page. We need people to land here. That's the objective, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. so, so once we set up our landing pages, then, then yeah, the link becomes our, our custom conversion. And that's how we start to capture leads because Facebook knows exactly what you're trying to get. You're trying to get people to land on this page. That's your custom okay. conversion. The, the mm -hmm. Okay. Page Sounds page. good. Okay. So awesome. go back to your screen. And I think, I think that's all of our bookmarks. So share your okay. screen really quick. 
we have this part bookmark. So now let's check our let's check our folder. Click the th the three dots in the top right, and let's go to um, let's go to our bookmarks and let's see what we got in there. We have um, business settings, ad accounts, custom audiences, ads manager, billing pixel, and custom conversions. Those are your okay. top seven. Okay, good. So that's it. So now your entire business awesome. manager is set up. Your most important top seven are saved. Now, as we move forward, we need landing pages now. That's kind of the next step is, is to get some landing pages. And then with the landing pages, we set up the custom audiences, we set up the custom conversion, and we install the pixel on the pages. And then we can start running ads through the new ads manager. Awesome. That's it. Yeah. So any questions on that whatsoever? Not right now. Awesome.